back with another video on the 750. Beautiful day out. It's finally warm down in South Carolina. And we're going to take a ride and talk about it. <laughs> windy today so I hope y'all can hear me but the point of this video is to discuss if the 750 is a great bike for you to start on and if it's a great option in general I've had this bike for some time maybe six to eight months now and I absolutely love it I mean I, I don't have no problems with this bike it's been nothing but reliable never had an issue and it's been an overall great bike for the street my riding style my height weight I mean <laughs> it checks off every box I'm six foot I weigh 220 pounds and the seat height on this bike is perfect this 750 is no slouch I mean from the factory I believe they're at 183 186 miles per hour top speed flash you can get them up to <laughs> anywhere from 195 to 196 miles per hour easily companies that don't have 750 cc bikes suzuki i gotta give it to them it's incredible they can come out with a 600 a 750 and a 1000 and people buy all three of them <laughs> with no issues you would think that having all three classes for that brand that it would take from the other you know maybe 1000 cc sales will go down because there's a 750 that gives you the best of both worlds but They've managed to make it work somehow. People buy all three. And it's been the same body style. Like this is a 15. I think this body style ran from 13 to 2024. Brand new, they still look like this 750 I ride right now. As far as how it handles, it's extremely light. It feels just like my 636, which is scary. Because <laughs> this makes way more horsepower and is faster than a 636. So it is definitely interesting to see how nimble this bike is and feels. So as far as turning, leaning, everything, I mean, dude, this bike feels like nothing. Like, <laughs> it's just so light. thing about the Suzuki this bike has a B and C mode I don't know exactly the percentages but I would assume a mode is the most power obviously B mode may take away about you know 25% or so of the pack of the bike's performance and then C mode probably takes away a little bit more than that but in a mode you definitely notice the difference between that and B and C. No question about it, you feel the difference. And as far as reliability, I mean, you can't go wrong. I pretty much daily this bike. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't rode it. I believe I just started riding it again yesterday after not riding it for like two weeks. Starts up every time, no issues. All you gotta do is pretty much do your regular maintenance per your manual on this bike. Do your oil changes, coolant flushes, clutch maintenance. I mean, whatever you got to do to keep your bike in tick top shape, that's all you literally got to do. And you don't need a lot of modifications to make this bike fast. Typically, people will go ahead and do a full exhaust, a flash, and that's about it for the most part for your average everyday rider. Now, for the people who take these bikes and do roll racing, things of that nature, that's a different story. They'll go ahead and stretch them, install velocity stacks, ceramic wheel bearings i mean there's there's so much that people do to these bikes to make them that much quicker it's it's ridiculous but it doesn't take much at all i mean pretty much from the factory these bikes are quick <laughs> if you remove all of the restrictions through an ecu flash i mean dude you're just it, you're pretty much just getting so much more of the bike and it's it's crazy man now let's take her on the highway shall we Another crazy thing about this bike is the aerodynamics. Majority of sport bikes are like this, but on all the bikes I've had, I've never experienced it quite like this bike. I could be going 100 miles per hour, and it feels like I'm going 60. with the 750s 
you don't have to be that high in the gear. You practically never have to be in sixth gear on the highway. I'm in fifth right now. And even being in fourth, like it's not a problem on the highway at all. That was the main issue I had with my 400. On the 400, you gotta be high in the gears, obviously because it's a smaller displacement bike. But on this bike, I mean, it's, it's perfect. And it's nice to have that top end range with the gears. That's one thing that the ZX-10s have. You could be in first, second gear going 60 miles per hour. <laughs> Not that it's recommended, but that's how those bikes are set up, you know? I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and comment for your boy for the algorithm, please. <laughs> All right, y'all take it easy. Keep out.